Hello everyone, you are watching another episode of Military Gear. According to a Russian state media report, Russia's first serial S-550 has successfully completed state trials, and it has entered combat. The covert weapon is reported to be capable of striking spacecraft, ballistic missile re-entry vehicles, and hypersonic targets at altitudes of tens of thousands of kilometers. The source did specify where the S-550 regiment in question has been stationed. TASS noted that it was not able to corroborate its source's information. The ministry source told TASS that the S-550 air defense system has successfully completed state trials. The technology is allegedly far superior to Western and Chinese capabilities as an absolutely new and unrivaled mobile system of strategic missile defense. Defense Minister Sergei Shoigu said that the anti-satellite S-550 was among the new weapon systems that Putin had demanded should be fast-tracked. Even so, its reported deployment with Russian rocket forces comes ahead of expectations. Additionally, the S-550 is seen as part of an air defense modernization involving the S-350 Vityaz, S-400 Triumph and S-500 Prometheus. They will completely cover the Russian sky from possible attacks. Recent Russian reports suggest the S-550 is the same weapon as a satellite killer until now known as Nudal, a project clouded in secrecy. Pro-Kremlin Izvestia newspaper said it was part of one of the most covert domestic weapons programs ever conducted. Videos showing the launch of an unnamed new missile system at Sarishagan in 2020 and earlier this year are now suspected to be this Star Wars weapon. Experts believe that work on the latest weapon has already been completed, and it can acquire the official designation as the S-550 air defense missile system. Defense Minister Sergei Shoigu personally declassified the S-550 designation before the November test that blasted the redundant orbiting Soviet era Salina D military reconnaissance satellite to smithereens. Reports of the S-550's introduction come amid concerns that Moscow is reviewing plans to proliferate its flagship missile systems to allied countries, possibly including Belarus and Serbia, as a retaliatory measure if upcoming diplomatic talks with Washington and NATO, slated for early January, do not yield the sweeping security guarantees the Kremlin is seeking. That's all for today, thanks for watching, and see you next time.